today's news. on the hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Explosions and smoke in the southern Gaza city of Rafah hours after we learned Israel had begun warning tens of thousands of Palestinians to leave in an apparent sign a long-threatened ground invasion was imminent. CBS's Ken Lee. Today, the IDF encouraged the evacuation of parts of Rafah after firing toward what it says were the launch sites of Hamas rockets. It all comes as peace talks hit another impasse over the weekend, with both sides blaming one another. We're just in. Columbia University has canceled its commencement in the wake of pro-Palestinian protests. Other schools have changed plans as well. Correspondent Elise Preston is on campus in Los Angeles. USC will now host a party for the class of 2024 at the LA Coliseum after canceling their main commencement ceremony due to safety concerns. In a statement, the president says the goal is to return to a sense of normalcy. I'm Vicki Barker at the Foreign Desk. The campus protest is spreading to the equivalent of Britain's Ivy League. Protesters have begun setting up tents outside university buildings at Oxford and Cambridge universities, making the same demands as their counterparts across the Atlantic. Hundreds of people had to be rescued in southeast Texas after five days of heavy rain. CBS's Janet Chamlian asked Houston Special Ops Sergeant Effie Garza. What's it like for your officers fighting the current out there, fast-moving flood water? It's definitely been a lot more challenging than it was with Harvey because the one thing people need to remember, we're getting flooded by two locations, the West Fork and the East Fork. So both of those rivers, the current's very strong. There is no rain in the forecast there today. Glenn Germany, a pastor near Pittsburgh, was stunned when someone pointed a weapon at him in the middle of his sermon. He pointed it right at me, and I just said, you know, I'm looking right down the barrel of a gun. The deacon who had been videotaping the service stepped in and pinned the man to the ground. After years of delays, Boeing Starliner is set to blast off for the International Space Station tonight. Astronaut Sonny Williams will be aboard. It's been a little bit frustrating, absolutely, because you wish everything would come together perfectly from the get-go. The program has struggled with everything from software to parachutes. The New York Times says 12-year-old Kendrick Cromer has become the first person in the world with sickle cell disease to begin commercially approved gene therapy that could cure his condition. He's being treated at Children's National Hospital in Washington. Kendrick's bone marrow stem cells are being harvested, then genetically modified. S&T Futures up 21. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that heavy jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 45 degrees in Oakland, California.